What's up everyone, I'm Saurabh Mazid and this channel is your go-to guide for travel destinations, tips and inspirations. Today's video will focus on the essential items that you need to pack for travel. Everything that you need and nothing that you don't. I'm providing links in the descriptions below of all the products that are mentioned today. I'm also bucketing them into certain categories so you can check out the timestamps. A little about myself, I've been in the technology consulting industry for 12 years that required me to travel for work every week. I consider myself very lucky to be able to visit 25 countries around the world, mostly using airline miles, hotel points, and credit card redemptions. Make sure to stick around till the end so that you can know more about my next video. Without further ado, here's my list of all the essential items that need to pack for travel. Category number one, absolute essentials. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we all have to be extra careful now while traveling. Do not forget to wear your masks. I've got a typical surgical mask. I also have a more effective K95 mask and some cotton masks that I got from Old Navy. If you want more protection on top of your masks, you can always bring in a face shield as well. Make sure to bring in a hand sanitizer. This will keep your hands um, clean. You can also bring in uh, disinfecting wipes. Uh, make sure to wipe everything beforehand that you'll end up touching. For example, the airplane seat, trays, and belts. Category number two, documentations. It might sound basic, but you need to bring your passport with you. Make sure to print out a copy and put it in your carry-on or checked package. You can also take a picture of the information page and email it to yourself. Save the picture on Google Drive or Dropbox in case you lose your phone. During my trip to London, one of my friends actually lost his passport, but having a copy of it really helped him a lot. If you're going somewhere that's going to rain a lot and you're gonna carry your passport with you, then you can always take a Ziploc bag and put your passport inside it so that it stays dry. I also have a passport card as a backup. I won't be able to travel with it as a replacement for my passport book, but I can at least use it to show proof of my nationality. It cost us only 30 extra dollars here in the United States to get it, which is not a bad deal check if your country has something similar as well. You should also bring your driver license as proof of identity. Instead of carrying your passport with you everywhere you go, you can use it to get into bars or anywhere else where they need to check your age. It's also a good idea to take a picture of the visa information of the country that you'll be visiting and you can print out a copy as well. Make sure to save the phone number, address, and website information of the consulate or embassy. In case you run into any trouble or need to get out, they'll be able to help you. I once took a six week trip to Turkey, Bangladesh, Thailand, and Australia. Before my trip, I saved the US Embassy and consular information that are located in each of those countries. Category number three, finances. Make sure to bring some cash, preferably in US dollars or euros, so that you can exchange it for the local currencies. Don't exchange at the airport though, because you're gonna get much better rates around the hotel where you'll be staying at. Do not carry more than $300 to $500 at a time because you'll be targeted as a tourist. These will also be very useful in case your bank account or your credit card accounts get frozen. Small bills with me as well so that I can tip the doorman, the waiters, and etc. I also bring my ATM or debit card with me so that I can withdraw some cash in local currencies. Check your bank's website beforehand so that you can know how much fee they will charge you in case you use the ATM outside of the country. I'm a Bank of America preferred member. As a result, I get a certain number of transactions throughout the year that doesn't charge me any fee. Due to the pandemic, a lot of places have now started to accept credit cards. You should sign up for a credit card that does not charge any foreign transaction fee as one of the benefits. Inform your credit card company about your travel schedule so that they don't end up freezing your expenses. Also sign up for a credit card that either gives you airline miles, hotel or reward points that can be used for redemptions. I will cover that topic in a separate video in this series. Category number four, accessories. If you're going somewhere really cold, bring one jacket. If you're going somewhere that's not that cold, still bring one jacket. Just change the jacket depending on where you're going. Make sure to bring one primary pair of shoes that you're going to be wearing at most places. I usually bring a pair of boots that's very durable and comfy. A pair of flip flops will allow you to lounge around the hotel. You can also take it to the beach if you're going to a tropical destination. I also bring a light running shoe that I substitute from my primary shoe as well. It'll also come in handy in case you're gonna go for a hike. Never ever forget to take a pair of sunglasses unless you're going somewhere it's gonna be raining all the time. You can easily amp up your style game with a pair of stylish sunglasses. Also take a hat so that you can be protected from the scorching sun. A pair of swimming trunks can double up as worker shorts. Also bring some trash bags with you so that you can throw the dirty laundry and the shoes in there. It'll make sure that the rest of your luggage stays clean. Well, those were the essential items that you need to pack for traveling. To summarize, we covered absolute essentials, documentations, finances, and accessories. In the next video, we'll be covering electronics, in-flight gear, and toiletries. Let us know in the comments below what's the very first item that you select while packing. As a reminder, all the products links are provided in the descriptions below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. The links on the side will take you to other videos with more tips and hacks. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.